whether this is appropriate because <coughs> people may not actually be interested in the technicalities of climate change, but what was the negative forcing that they were talking about for to reduce this impact of CO2? Because it's not something which has come through in scientific literature. Well, um, what I'll do is I will um, give you the details. If you go to the Heartland organisation's website, Heartland, H-E-A-R-T-L-A-N-D dot org dot N-Z, no, no, sorry, dot org, uh, they've held now four international climate conferences. The one last year was in New York. Um, the most recent one was in Chicago two weeks ago. If you go to the website, there were 73 separate presentations. You can watch a video of all, all 73, including Richard Lindzen and, um, and Roy Spencer. And you can also download <coughs> the papers, so read it for yourself. Yeah. Because generally, the <coughs> belief is that you're actually going to get positive feedbacks, and the particular one, of course, is water vapour. Yep. Small warming, increased water, you know, wa the amount of water the atmosphere can hold increases markedly as temperature rises. Yep. Water, of course, is the most potent in most cases of all. And <coughs> I've yet to see any comment on science. And my uh, thing is not the hard one, which doesn't really have a lot of credibility, I would say. Oh. My one tends to be science and nature, which are the two probably most prestigious scientific journals, which have a lot on the climate change. And certainly the negative feedback, I mean, you get a lot of discussion about the mechanisms of the models and the rest of it, but the negative feedback has never actually, I don't can't even really record it. Well, if, you, if, you, if you, have a, you have a read of or listen to Richard Lynn's presentation, you can, you can certainly hear his arguments. Um, I say again, I'm not a scientist, I'm not an expert on the science, um, and so I'm not qualified to comment, but what I, what I do feel I'm qualified to comment on is that New Zealand um, is one five hundredth of the world's emissions. We could easily reduce our emissions from animals. We could very easily reduce our methane emissions from dairy cows. We could go and shoot them all 